Hello friends, Lectured, uh, welcome to our channel Google Galaxy. Today we are going to discuss about the coordination compounds. The topic under the coordination compound is finding the coordination number. Coordination number of metal line in a complex. Wherever we see a square bracket, we call it as complex sign. Another name we are having if I give you if I give you the example we are having the numerous examples if I am having the EGCN this uh, here EG is acting as a central atom while CN2 is acting as a ligand ligand may be here the ligand is a unident uh, ligand is a unidentate unidentate anionic the the thing which is in square bracket we called it as complex sign we called it as coordination sphere we called it as coordination entity there are a number of terms to represent the square bracket but today we but today here we are topping off we are having the topic of finding the coordination number i am going to list some important things you will have to learn as it is one thing should be kept in mind while finding the coordination number we we always have to look out for the number of sigma bond participating in coordination i will repeat again we should keep in mind that only sigma bonds only sigma bonds sigma bonding electrons participate participate if you get this point you will not in a difficulty to finding out the coordination number another thing in some cases pi bond also exist between the ligands and a metal line they do not contribute towards the coordination bond so i'll say wherever you see the pi bond you will have to ignore it you will have to ignore it you need not to consider because they do not contribute to the coordination number i'll give the four example i'll give you few examples the first thing is clear to you the second thing whenever we see any type of complex whenever we see any, uh, any compound within the square bracket we always have to just identify first thing that what what type of ligand it is it is unidentate it is bidentate or it is polydentate if you guess it properly then you will easily find out the coordination number i'll give you the example for example unidentate few examples of unidentate while i am why i am writing this these as examples because you will easily get the point what i am going to say when we say unidentate it means only one type of donor atom only one type of donor atom carefully one type of donor atom that means we are talking about the h2o it means that only one type of donor atom one type we we combine this whole combined molecule is, is acting as a is a one type of donor atom the whole molecule is acting as a in coordination compound especially in wherever you see this type of molecule in coordination compound chemistry you will have to say that this h2o molecules is acting as a donor atom only one type of donor atom it means that oxygen is going to donate this to the central metal line ion to stable if i see, or we can say nh3 nh3 now nitrogen is having the electron pair electron pair is group of two electrons is known as electron pair similarly if i am say bidentate it means we are talking about the oxalate ion oxalate ion what does oxalate ion say it will say the ligand have to have two donor atoms what is bidentate two donor 
atom atoms and have the ability to link with the central atom for two positions forget about the positions right now you will have to just say it. they have the ability to to link with the central atom by donating their two donor atoms okay we will say oxalate ion what does oxalate the structure of oxalates say the two carbons having excess of electrons here oxygen having the only single pair of electrons what about this the two oxygen atoms will donate their excess of or i can say excess of their elect uh, electrons to stable the metal ion so we will call it as bidentate similarly if i en is also we label its short form is ox similarly en is also short form what is full form is ethane 1 to diamine ethane 1 comma 2 di a mine is acting as a bidentate it will if you see the structure in your books you can find it easily in your reference book or in ncert books or the book you are follow you are using for your help you will see that the the structure of en ethane 1 comma 2 are in the is in the category of bidentate okay now from now onwards i am going to i am going to teach you what how to find the coordination number after after getting these two points you will easily find it yourself okay let's talk about the example if i am having the let's say i am having this type of example okay i'll say uh this type of uh compound having the coordination number 2 coordination number 2 you will say how because cyanide cyanide is having excess of electrons how many electrons it will it is a part of unidentate for unidentate it means we are talking about the one how many uni means one one the cyanide having the subscript two so one multiply by two so one multiply by two is two so we can say this cyanide will support the silver with a sigma bond how many sigma bonds one multiply by two two sigma bonds to so we can say 2 is the coordination number of this complex 2 is 2 is the coordination number of silver next example i am going to say we are having the chlorine i am having this type of complex clear so now and uh, nh3 is a part of uni unidentate how many only one is given over here so i'll say uh, okay sorry Three is present already present over here, so I'll say uh, it is having the two electrons. So it is a part of unidentate. Uni means one. One multiply by three. One multiply by three plus three electrons. Chlorine is a part of unidentate. Chlorine is a part of unidentate. Chlorine is a part of unidentate. So we will say. uni means 1 1 multiply uni means 1 1 multiply by 3 similarly plus 1 multiply by 3 why why 3 why 1 because chlorine is a part of unidentate so 3 plus 3 is 6 so we can say the coordination number of this compound is 6 similarly we are having the next example if teachers give you this type of complex sign and say it. what about the coordination number we the short form of coordination number is cn what you need to do is you need to count only sigma bonds how we can calculate the sigma bonds because en is a part of bidentate bi means bi means 2 bi means 2 when we say 2 it means that 2 multiply by 3 so 6 if another sporting element is present over here we will add as we discussed before so what is the coordination number of this compound would would be 6 now you are able to now you are able to to calculate coordination number of any type of complex you have in your notebook or you, or in your book i'll give you the, another example for your convenience if i am having the compound
this one is the compound when you will dissolve this compound this molecule will form the ions and this complex will is in the form of four minus okay we need to calculate the coordination number of this compound so what we need to do is we need to calculate the number of sigma bond we need to also we need to check the whether it is unidentate bidentate polydentate when we say it is a cn is a cn is the is a part of unidentate so we will say one what's its subscript we will six so one multiply by six is equals to how much six so we can say six is the coordination number of this molecule thank you for the lecture i hope it will help if you like this video don't forget to subscribe and must share with your friends you must you must have to help them thank you for the lecture